Police of South Africans detained in China are now considering appointing a human rights lawyer to secure their release. The 10 South Africans are part of a group of 20 tourists who were taken into custody on Friday while in the Chinese province of Inner Mongolia. They were arrested without charge but accused of being linked to a terror group and watching propaganda videos. After the intervention of the consular services, 11 will be released including five South Africans. Humanitarian aid group Gift of the Givers says the Chinese government plans on charging the remaining nine. Of the nine, three are relatives of Vodacom CEO Shamil Yusuf. It's very stressful. Um, so last night I met with you know, my, my own family, but also with the, 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 the families of the rest of the detainees. And you know, it's, it's very hard to tell parents um, that you know you don't have answers, and you can see people just looking looking for answers and so on. So it was very tearful and and and, and heartfelt that you know people, that their kids are not there and they're not sure what's what's happening. I mean, I even had one 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 of the one of the uh, uh, families um, where the, the the father and mother came twice to my house to to because they were you know just to get a little bit more surety of of what's happening and that we're doing everything that we can. The mood remains tense at the Guamashu Hostel 